What's up guys? Welcome to another Build a Break Garage episode. In today's episode, uh, we're gonna be tearing the turbo kit off of Midori. A uh, little story behind it is uh, I was driving, I've been driving the car uh, regularly so that way I can put as many miles on it before the import face off in Ohio in a couple weeks to make sure I weed out all the bugs. Well, I got two bugs that popped, uh, popped up yesterday. Um, well, I'm sure they were forming before yesterday, but I found them yesterday. And now the time is to fix it. So what happened is, if you can see, I got a crack forming right here on the downpipe. But more importantly, I've got this crack forming going up to the turbo. And uh, so basically, I was running out of boost, and I was wondering where the hell it was going, and at least I found it. So. Now I gotta go ahead and tear the whole kit back off, grind the paint off, and then re-weld it. But I'm gonna try to get it where that, uh, try to have it the way I'm gonna weld it is gonna be like kind of expansion joints and concrete, and hopefully that'll prevent this from being a completely recurring problem. I don't know, we're gonna give it a shot, because the way that this turbo is mounted, it's kind of impossible to, kind of get impossible to brace it, so, um, yeah, there's really not a good good spot, so. Enjoy watching me tear this turbo kit off and then put it back together, so yeah, it's gonna be a good video. So, uh, yeah, that actually went a lot quicker than I thought it was going to. <laughs> I wasn't planning on actually getting this far before work, but uh, I got everything off, so, I mean, it all came out pretty easy. Hopefully it goes back in the same way. Yeah, so I got the manifold off, the downpipe off. The manifold was actually cracked a lot worse than I was thinking it was. Like, it's cracked all the way to the back here. Like, and it goes around and around all the way to there. Like, so it, it was pretty close to actually falling, but having the turbo actually fall off, so it's a good thing I caught it when I did. Well, right now I gotta go to work, and then uh, maybe tonight, I don't know, it depends on if I can get anybody to come over and hang out, see if I can get this welded up, get everything back on the car, and possibly go to a car show tomorrow, I don't know. Um, it's supposed to be shit weather, so I don't, I don't think I'm gonna do it, but we'll see what happens. So I'll check in with you guys after work, so see you in eight hours. And boom, just like that, eight hours went by for you guys like that, but it didn't go like that for me. So definitely glad to be home. It's the weekend, and uh, now I get to go ahead and fix all this stuff up. So first things first, uh, I'm gonna sand down all the paint, uh, at least wire wheel it so I can get down to the bare metal. And uh, then I'm gonna start welding things up. So hopefully I can get this to be a little bit stronger so this doesn't happen at a regular occurrence. So we'll see. So let's get to it. Uh, time lapse of me welding. All right, so got the uh, manifold all welded up and I even did some stitching across the weld to try to give it some sort of, uh, uh, I guess, bracing to uh, make it not uh, break anymore. So we'll see if that actually holds up, but I just got it into a nice coat of white again, and now I'm just waiting on it to dry. So in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and get the downpipe um, all welded up and then painted. Then we just wait on paint to dry for a little bit. Alright guys, so I got the downpipe all welded up, as you saw, got it all into fresh white paint, so the reason why the downpipe actually cracked, that's where I ground down some of the welds, so I'm going to be leaving that weld uh, unground, but now I have to get all the exhaust cement off these ports and get them cleaned up so that way I can get them resealed and make sure I don't have any more leaks and I'll have all my four pounds of boost back, yay. So I'll see you guys uh, after I get back, uh, I'll get the manifold back on first. Baby, baby, 
So uh, as you can tell, I got the whole thing back together all in one day. Hopefully you can tell by the time lapse. Uh, I had people over, so it's always hard to kind of try to film and have people over at the same time. But anyway, I uh, got it all set and all done. Uh, no leaks, which is really good. And uh, I'll get to test drive it sunday uh because tomorrow is saturday and around here it's going to be absolutely crap weather which is unfortunate because i really want to drive it but i'll drive it on sunday when it's 35 degrees out so um hopefully everything is fixed and good but uh so far so good but yeah so anyway thank you for watching this video and be sure to give it a like comment and subscribe and we'll be seeing you in the next one peace